you choose those pants? <laughs> All right, I'm trying something new. Um, as always, I am going to record while I'm streaming in the capture software that I use. So um, hopefully that doesn't over overdo anything because last time we streamed, um, there's no sound for the VOD of the day. So the video of the, the day of the, or the, the, the VOD, whatever. Um, so that's Make more sense. what we're doing. So that's where we're at with that. Um, and we'll see if it affects anything. I don't think it, it will. It should be able to handle that. And um, yeah, we were going to play Lost Ark today. Oh, no textures. <laughs> or low textures. Uh, we were going to play Lost Ark today. Um, I should have known that there would be um, server issues because it's a MMO launch day. Uh, but we will play that eventually. Um, or at least I will. I want to play it. We may or may not stream it. Uh, all right, I'm in. Okay, I don't know what bed you slept in, but I would like to take some beds while we're here. I marked mine, so you can take whichever ones you want that don't have deep slate uh, on the outside. Okay, then I will... I'm go I don't remember what bed I slept in, if I'm being real. So I'm gonna claim this one. Respawn point set. I keep making bad choices for what I eat before the stream, and I'm, I end up being phlegmy and gross. <laughs> That's just... Eating anything or doing anything before talking a lot. Yeah, man. So, that's okay. I grabbed a Coke, so, you know. A conky maybe. cola. A little conk. I want to grab just like two or one or two more beds. Yeah. Yeah. I'm grabbing all the beds. You marked the one that one. you slept in, yeah? Yes, I covered the door with cobble. Cool. Let's steal everything. Ba -ba -da -da -da. Maps are cool. I wish we needed them. <laughs> ah. I mean, I still like them. I use them to make artwork and creative worlds. Gosh. Okay. Let's grab our horsies and go. You want to name our horsies? Um, yeah, if you want to. Yay! Have Don't we... we need a... Oh, did we leave the anvil? Um... Yes, because I believe it was... It was dead. Um, then we'll wait till our next, like, long-term stop, and if the horses have survived that long, then it's meant to be. Okay. That sounds good. Uh, because we, we have plenty of iron to make one, we just... Cracked open a cold Coca-Cola. Everybody swears by Diet Coke. I don't like it very much. I mean, like, I like it. If I need, like, a sweet beverage, but I prefer, I prefer, um, sugar-full Coke. See, and that's, I Careful. have always preferred Diet Coke. Well, actually, pr preferably, <gasps> I like Diet Coke more than regular Coke, but I like regular Pepsi more than Diet Pepsi. And mm -hmm. if I were to choose any of them, I would choose RC Cola. <laughs> <laughs> I like cherry Pepsi because I used to get that when I was a child. I think it's P Pizza Pizza Hut does Pepsi products, right? I think so. Because when I was a child, I'd do my bookets, and my aunt would be like, "I'm so proud of you. Let's go to Pizza Hut." And so I got to get my personal pan pizza, and we'd always get cherry Coke or cherry uh, Pepsi. Cherry Pepsi. And it was so good and refreshing. We'd oh walk goodness. in the snow like. A mile. <laughs> struggling. I'm struggling. This forest is stupid. I'm not stupid. The forest is. The forest is dumb. Forests mm. should be more inclusive for fat horses. For yeah. Um, hold on, Meg. I'm really stuck. Don't worry. I needed to do. I can't. Oh, there we go. Now I see. <clears throat> Getting there. Alrighty. Oh. Okay. I found a village. Josh. Okay, there you are. I'm checking. Oh, out there's this. a big old hole there. Yeah, that's why I went the other way. Cause I'm smart. Big old, big old hole. I'm uh, seeing if it has a blacksmith. 
Yeah, you know, I did book it's growing up and uh, I never got to redeem them because we Aww. didn't live close enough to Pizza Hut. And my parents never took me there. Um, not really their fault. I was just never where the Pizza Hut was with, when they were there. I did book it's almost all the way through my elementary and high school or maybe middle school education. Yeah, I was through middle school. Um, education, but I missed my last year, so I had to sit there while all the other kids in my class got their little pouches with like their drawstring bags and like a collect collection of fun things, and I didn't get anything. <laughs> I was sad. I was like, oh, "Come on, I tried." Like I did the bookets because there was like a minimum requirement uh -huh. um, at our school where you like had to read them, and they're just like, "Yeah, it's fun because you get pizza at the end." I'm like, but I don't want to read books. Like, but it's fun. There's You're gonna pizza. read books. It's like, um, my parents are not gonna drive me three hours to get pizza. So yeah. well, it wasn't even that. It was just way out of the way for them, and I was never like there. But they took me a couple of times. Um, but it was not very often. I always had like extra, I had like three in my wallet until I got a new wallet. Um, oh, I hit my horse. Why did I do that? Oh, I dropped my boat. Oh my goodness. I'm in shambles. My life is in shambles, Meg. John. You poor little guy. Um, but I maybe, I had like maybe five total because I think you had to do like at least one or two per year or something like that in grade school. Um, but I never really got to use them all. I think I used one or two. I, I don't know if I already said that or not. Um, but, but yeah. the, another thing that I never really got to participate in too much was, um, magazine sales. Shh. <laughs> I didn't, not once. I'd even be like, Hey mom and dad, I want to, I, maybe I should try this. They're like, no, it's dumb. I'm like, okay. Never like we're once not gonna, did we're we not gonna sell. We're not gonna solicit people. <laughs> we didn't sell a single thing. No one in my family when we went to school. <laughs> well, so like my parents were were okay with like, yeah, you can sell as many magazines as you want, but we're not gonna help you. Yeah. Um. And so like, there'd be like sometimes when my mom would like drive me to town and like allow me to like go door to door and sell them. Uh -huh. It's like she did that with my sisters too, but like. My dad owned a business and had like the prime opportunity to like have that there, but he didn't want to like bother people with it, which is understandable. Mm -hmm. um, but there was always there was, there was these kids in um, there was two families when I was growing up, and their parents both owned businesses. One was a doctor's office, and one was like a carpet business. Yeah, and they um, <clears throat> they like asked people for like selling magazines, and those kids always got like the top tier prizes and stuff, which. I don't know. What were your opinions on, like, the top prizes? Well, so our prizes were usually pretty sweet. <clears throat> there was, like, the Reader's Digest prize. If you sold one Reader's Digest book, you got, like, like, one of them was, like, you got a cool calculator. But if you sold, like, ten of them, you got, like... Um, like a flip camera and if you sold like a hundred of them then you got like an mp3 player or something <clears throat> um, and then there was like the actual prizes separate from that and they like the top tier prizes were sometimes like nice digital cameras oh yeah <laughs> yeah and like uh, <coughs> Whoa, there's a huge um, hole be careful like tv like little tvs and stuff like that um, good prizes for that, but you had to sell like 500 magazines or something crazy. Um, I feel like the best prizes that my school had was like, you throw this little egg thing against the wall and it splats. It also comes into me though. And I was like, I don't, I could just go get that. You got a sticky hand. Yeah, it was basically sticky hands. I'm like, what? No. Maybe I just wasn't paying attention because I had attention problems. Well, the guy that always came for, uh, oh, big hole, lava too. Uh, the guy that always came to like tell us about it, it was always the same guy and he always like picked random people from the audience to like <clears throat> come up and get free stuff. And it was usually like, oh, here's $10 or here's a free MP3 player or here's a, here's a t-shirt or, um, I'm going to buy your first 10 magazines or something like that. <clears throat> and, uh. I'm gonna sleep. And there's one time I remember because it was like the whole school because we went to a private school and it was really small. 
um up or i did up until ninth grade and i remember like a, a 10th grader or 11th grader or something like made a sign that said pick me mm -hmm. and nobody had ever done that before and so he did it and he laughed really hard and picked him yeah uh -huh. then every year after that like everyone was making signs saying pick me oh my gosh and then they had to say you can't make signs and bring that. <laughs> so the poor guy the poor guy just just doing his job yeah I hope I get to play Lost Ark a little bit. Um, I don't imagine I'll pr I probably either won't be able to play it tonight or it'll be pretty late before I get to play it. Um, yeah. And then maybe tomorrow after we do what we need to do tomorrow. Going on a road trip. To another state. Where we can see my grandma. And well, we probably shouldn't talk about stuff like that. Never mind. It's a secret. <laughs> Just realize, um, we're not okay. going anywhere tomorrow we're staying Literally, home seriously mr craft or pie five they're not on do not thing. talk about that i repeat if this is on the tv in your house right now turn it off <laughs> that, that's who undie craft is it's your mom <clears throat> no panda panda does he have a boogie no he's normal i still love him gave him a kiss like a little baby kitty ocelot say meow Fine. He sprints away and goes, eh. All right. I think we can... I'm going around. I don't feel like putting my horse in the boat. Oh, man. Hey! Lately, my horse has decided to not jump forward, but to jump st straight up in the air instead, and I'm really annoyed about that. Oh, it's okay. The water gets worse. I'm just gonna get my boat. Let's see if he can do it this time. Come on, horsey. Okay. <sighs> kind of did the right thing. I should have a, a clearing my throat counter. How many times I clear my throat per stream? I know it'd be like in the hundreds. That's <laughs> like, it's just something that I've lived with since I was in middle school. I just always am clearing my throat. Uh huh. <clears throat> um, but sometimes when we're in the Discord, like they'll, um, they'll just be like, hey guys, look, I'm Josh. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm like, guys. I've, I've been an old man since I was 13. It had something to do with when my voice changed, my throat just got really phlegmy all the time. Yeah, you said that, like that actually is an actual thing that you struggle with. I don't know that what it is. And like, um, if I try to not clear my throat constantly, I will get like phlegmy to the point where like my voice sounds phlegmy. It's like... What does it do? Wah. Hello, I have noticed, I think it, it might have something to do with singing or something. I don't know, because when I sing, like, that lubricates my throat pretty well. Mm. And, like, I don't notice the phlegm as much when I'm singing, but it could also be because I'm distracted. Distracted. Buttracted. Huh. But. You have all your shulker boxes, right? I do. I don't have to kill you to send you back to the village. <laughs> that would suck. Send you yes, back to the shadow realm. Yeah, we get a third Minecraft day today, Josh. Yeah. Um, it's, I just couldn't think of anything that would be interesting to play or like that, would, that I would be interested in playing. I'm like, st my brain's so much just wanting to play Lost Ark. <laughs> I can't, mm -hmm. I, I don't want to play anything else. Um, I almost thought of Genshin, but like I said, whenever I try to stream Genshin, it gets really laggy. That's annoying. Um, I mean, I guess you could always stream it, but we'd have to get all that set up and I don't feel like it. Yeah, man. Genshin's my safe space. That aggravates you sometimes. Oh yeah, makes me want to die. 
I don't know if anybody else has played Genshin in in the world, but there. <laughs> <laughs> no one else has. <laughs> Only me. There's a quest where you have to fight a stupid ruin hunter. It's the Nine Pillars of Peace quest, and I have yet to kill that stupid thing. Because he's so strong, he's level like either 91 or something crazy like 98. And it's like, okay, I have four characters who are level 90, and they literally can't get any higher. So what? Am I supposed to just wait until I level up all of their talents? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Do I have to give them all level 20 artifacts? Who has that? It's a dumb quest. Just let me finish it. I want the prize. As you can see, Megan is very um, adamant about that. I would help you, but I you are higher level than I am in Genshin, so I can't. Well, that's the thing. There have been times where I'm like, oh, this is a difficult boss, so I'm going to get on your world and fight it with you. But the problem is... Um, First of all, you're lower level than me, so I'd have to get on your world. But also, other bosses that we've done, um, it almost makes it harder because you can only have two of your characters and the other person has two characters. And for me, it's like, well, then I'm out of my, you know, I don't, I don't have my normal, like, rhythm. Because <laughs> I have to have a healer and I have to have, like, someone who's really strong. It's like, what if my healer isn't very strong, but I need two different elemental characters? It's um, hard. That actually made me think of, did you read that post that I sent you um, about the classes in Lost Ark? No, a little bit. Do you think that you would play DPS, tank, or healer? Um, I've never had a game where that mattered, so I don't know. But if we were playing together, um, I would play like a tank DPS mm -hmm. and you might like the support role of like being a healer of being a healer or like a healer that also gives like damage buffs or something. Ooh, I could handle that. Um, there's the different classes. Uh, I'd have to look at them again. Um, but the one that I was interested in was either the gun lancer or gun slinger, I think. Uh -huh. um, I've always played either tank or healer when I play MMOs. Yeah. <laughs> or both. Tank healers are fun because people don't expect that. <laughs> That's when I played Overwatch, I always played healer because I was really good at it, either healer or tank. And um <laughs> I'd play there was a character called Brigitte or Brigitta, and she was a healer, but she also had a shield. Mm -hmm. So she was like a shield and essentially like a mace on a chain. So she had like reach too. Yeah. And the way you healed people was by doing damage with her. Yeah. And I would just play her as a tank, even though she had really low health. <laughs> and Chandler and I would typically be able to, like, go crazy with that because I could keep him and myself alive and then he'd be able to kill everybody because he always played DPS. Yeah, man. I hope Overwatch 2 is good. I fell out of my boat. Trying to hit me with that kelp. No. <laughs> hey, wait, there's something glowy over here. <clears throat> okay, what's glowy? Something. Looks like a fire. It's a village. Oh, shall we go to it? Yeah, because it's almost nighttime. Yeah, and it's rainy. Rainy time. My horse is getting cold. Sometimes my horse gets cold. I put a horsey blankie on him. Horse, don't walk into the fire. Please don't walk into the fire. Of course. This is a tiny village? Yeah, it looks pretty tiny. There's a bed there, and I'm assuming there's one in here, too. Yeah. Whenever it's nighttime, it's, it's just about nighttime. Cool. Oh. Oh, I guess it's a little bit earlier than I expected, but it's still almost nighttime. I can see it on the clock. Where's my little horse? There's no time to sniff flowers. My little princess. The time to fight. Oh, there's more of the village on top of that. Yeah. The side over there, but. Oh,
Sleepy time. Sleepy time. Oh, we just gained a couple viewers, including my mother. <clears throat> Hello, mother. Welcome. Where is my sweet baby horse? Okay, my horse is here. Ready. <laughs> You're so fast. Uh, I think I'm gonna just get on the water. <laughs> Thank you for putting yours on top of mine. <laughs> You're welcome, buddy. Convenience. Look, there's more land. We can travel the land. Yeah, I was just trying to avoid the trees and big Yeah, it would have been hard to cross. Yeah. Update on my nose. It's itchy. <laughs> nose update. <laughs> um, nose reveal. New, new. <laughs> just cover your nose forever and do a nose reveal at um, 10 followers. And Instagram followers. Yeah, man. I don't have any Instagram followers because that's just how cool we are. Yeah. <laughs> or Instagram, uh, Twitter. We do have Instagram followers, but not very many. Most of them are just people saying like, or they're commenting like, hey, you can advertise your channel on our channel if you yeah. pay us money. <laughs> you like, want 500 followers? Instant 500k followers, viewers. Wow, pretty. There's a village. Y'all got a blacksmith? Nope. Well, hold on. I gotta check something really quick. Going off the rails. No, that's not. On a not. crazy village. I saw, I was in a random world and I saw a house like this one down here that's just like in a cave. There are a lot of houses that end up like that right now. Hey man, if they wanted to live in a cave, they wanted to live in a cave, you know? Yeah. Hey, look, it's a mountain. Where? Oh, yeah. oh, cool. It's a big old mountain, too. Mm -hmm. it's, it's okay. And I'm curious if the far lands generate differently now that there are mountains. It's like the far lands essentially are just a, at least in Java, there's the wall. I don't think that the, like, the wall looking far lands exist anymore in bedrock. Uh huh. But there is the stripe lands that are just like weirdly generated thin land. I guess we'll find out. We gonna find out. Horse. I am. I am your um horse director, and you will listen to me. Ooh, there's ice over here. Ice. We like traveling on ice. Is it quick? I don't think it's very big though. Ooh, let's travel in the cold. Yeah, that way our horses can um, oh. cool off. <laughs> it, it, uh, it's only dangerous on mountains, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. That's it what is. I'm thinking, too. Oh, such reason. Such. And I like how the sky changes and it just looks chilly. Yeah, it's got a very cold looking air. I'm ready to shoot bunnies. You gotta keep up, Meg. I'm ahead of you now. My horse doesn't like the cold. He's heard the ghosty whispers of our previous horses. Don't go <laughs> in the cold. <laughs> Whoa, I fell in a hole. Hold up. Meg, why would you do that? Accidental. That's why. Go! Oh. Why would you purposefully fall in a hole? I didn't. Ah, uh, another hole. What is this world, Swiss cheese? I tell you what. Watery. My eyes are getting watery, actually, now that I think about it. Kind of like onion feeling. I did cook onions in the house today. Well, that wouldn't affect them now. You never know. Meg, I do know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I don't. But, um... I think it's just my nose, like, being a little stuffy. Oh, baby llama with its stubby legs. I love it. Little stubby legs. Oop, I got, I got turned around. This 
this way! Come on. Boing. <laughs> Oops, stuck. There we go. Nailed it. Oh my gosh. So I was deleting notes in my phone. And I came across this one note that was titled, Things That Really Grind My Gears. <laughs> And I was like, oh, I must have been for a while just like, you know, writing down things that grind my gears. And I don't know if you can guess what the first one was. But um, I'll give you a hint. It has to do with driving through um, the place um, where my parents live, the town. Um... You mean like stopping and going? No. Because it grinds driving your by the uh, animal grooming place. Oh my gosh. That yeah. must have been a pretty recent note then. No, I have felt that way for a long time. Because these people are refused, for the for years have refused to have good marketing skills. And they make their animal grooming place look like scary people live there. Essentially, um, it's like a old building. And it's also a business that grooms animals. And they always hang like bed sheets over their windows. Uh, it's like for a long time, there were emoji bed sheets in the windows, which, first of all, unprofessional and ew. And they decorate for holidays and leave that up. And it's not that, you know, I understand. You don't always want to take down your holiday decorations. But then, whenever the next holiday comes around, they just decorate for that one too. They don't take down the Halloween decorations. They just put up Fourth of July decorations and Christmas decorations over top of the Halloween decorations. Yes, and they're still there. There's still a poster in the window of a Halloween cat or something stupid, and they've got like they've got like a uh, Thanksgiving decoration on the door. They've got Christmas decorations. I'm pretty sure they still have some kind of Fourth of July decorations, and it makes me angry. It's the whole building isn't the same color. It's multiple colors. Hole. Makes me mad. Like just, just get blinds if you don't. They don't hang up sheets in the windows. The Meg, they, they, no. they, they, they are. Uh, they speak to I'm how fun the people Sonky are. I'm never there. Soraka has never once needed to be groomed, but I'm gonna have her groomed just so that we can take her somewhere that's not there. I wouldn't say she's never needed to be groomed. We've just never taken her. Yeah. <laughs> well, she's a short-haired cat. Like, who she's cares? a short-haired cat, but she does have dandruffy, dry skin, but we take care of that as best we can. Um, and she doesn't need, like, trimmed or anything. She doesn't... Yeah. Her claws are fine. She's nasty. I'll admit it. She, I she clean, she, she's got a... She bites her own nails. Yeah. She also sharpens her non-existing nails. That's what I meant. Where are you? I want monies. Why are my hands so warm? Lucky. Brag. My hands are always freezing when we play. My hands are like the warmest part of my body right now. They're like hot. Weird. I feel bad. I'm literally breaking this person's window and stealing from it. <laughs> <laughs> they just didn't, couldn't be bothered to get off my horse. Emergency. All right. Oh, there's two. Break their window. Two blacksmiths. Yeah. Do we need five apples? Um, I have five apples. I got them for my horse, but I guess I need gold, which I also have. No gold. I'll get apples for my horse. That's not a bad idea. Welcome, Mr. Craft. Hey, Mr. Craft. As we were saying before you joined, we would have been playing Lost Ark today, which is a, uh, an MMO that released uh, today, but it's broken. Their servers are broken, which is kind of what happens with MMOs on releases. <clears throat> so we're playing Minecraft because we didn't have a backup plan. Well, it's fine because I have anxiety about starting new things in my life. But think about if it was just as fun as Genshin. You never know, know until you try it. Well, no, I have to try it, and then three months later, I have to pick it back up. Was it really that far apart? It was long apart when I between when I like made my Genshin account and tried it on my phone, and I was like, "Wow, that's cool." Great. And when I um actually started playing every day, and I was like, "This is the funnest game." Blacksmith, Josh. 
And a village we can sleep in. Mm-hmm. Also, just for the record, I know we only have like six viewers right now, but um I would never condone making fun of an animal grooming place or, you know, leaving bad reviews or anything. Just it makes me mad when they don't take the crap out of their windows, and that's my TED talk. Thank you. For coming. This one in particular is especially <clears throat> it's, it's we don't know if, if their service is bad. We just know that the business itself looks poor. I'm sure they do great. I'm sure they groom dogs fine. You ever just smell your microphone? I think I can't help but smell my microphone. No, I mean like put your not put your schnoz right on there and whiff. No. Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm sure everybody loved hearing that. <laughs> yeah, that one actually got picked up. Okay. Horse. Ah. Horse. Where's my horse? Where my horse? Where's my horse? Let's go. I have plenty of beds, so I didn't get any. I have four. I have three. Could have gotten one, but let's Aye. go this way. Then to the hole. My horse fell in a hole. The pit. I fell into the pit. We all fell into the pit. Yeah. You know, I don't remember a lot of Parks and Rec. I would watch it for a third time. <laughs> a good show. Yeah, maybe I'll put it on the Plex server. Um, very good show. It's I, I like I, I know someone in eight years is gonna find this video and and at me on Twitter for it, um, <laughs> or whatever it is in the future. I got stuck, Meg. By the way, I don't know where you were. Mm. Um, by the sheep. That's helpful. Uh, but I think Parks and Rec is better than The Office. Oh, controversy. Because, because my argument for it is they're essentially a very similar show with just different characters. Um, it's kind of like the same idea. Mm -hmm. um, I like the characters more in Parks and Rec. Uh, I liked the characters at first in The Office, but halfway through The Office, it got all messed up with Steve Carell leaving. Yeah. And then it, it, it to me it never felt the same, and I, I essentially only like watching The Office with Steve Carell in it. Yeah, uh, not that he like made the show by any means, but it just didn't it didn't hit the same way without him. I'm gonna go in the water, Meg. Um, Parks and Rec, you have the same characters throughout the whole thing, and then they tried doing an extra season at the end where like it was farther down the line, and that was okay. Um, but I still like parks and rec more i like i like chris pratt a lot he's funny have you played sky wars in minecraft i haven't but i've heard of it is it it's something about i'm gonna go right yeah something about like you have to stay in the sky or something and if you fall off you die I'm, you like I'm not battle actually sure. i'm pretty sure no wait is it like is it anything like bed bed wars mr craft or is it just is it different i don't know nothing we could try that sometime. There are a lot of servers and stuff just on Minecraft. Yeah, it's true. Oh, no. I would be awful because I'm bad at PvP, but maybe that would be funny. I don't know. Maybe sometime uh, Mr. Craft can show us around. But Meg, I don't want to make all the children cry with my six skills. <laughs> Josh, it's more like I don't want to cry because all the children beat me with their six skills. Why? <laughs> Just because they, ah, they have more free time than me doesn't mean they're better. I think, well, no, I was going to say, I think we have more free time than most kids with homework and stuff, but um, I don't oh, know. You, you do have a full time job. Yeah, enough time is relative because I feel like children stay up later than I do. Wow, look at that mountain. Oh, it's so pretty. Man, I wish it wasn't raining. We could see it a lot better. That's beautiful. Ah! And I almost fell in the giant It's like every, every 10 minutes we're just like, wow, look at that mountain. Wow. Wow, ah. look at that mountain. Meg, look at that. Uh, Josh, careful. Mountain. They're still up there. No. Josh. Into the snow. Ah! There's a hole. 
Okay, I was about to be very upset with you. Oh my gosh! Yeah, that was a big old nasty hole. <laughs> Jeez, uh, a big old nasty hole. No respawn. I ah, another hole. This is a really pretty area. Very this would be perfect too. for. Um, what would it be perfect for? Like a little village or something. Or like if you were doing like um. I don't know, like a little little Norwegian village. Could build one here. Sorry, my horse decided to forget how to jump. Yeah, I'll just vibe next to the sheep and the bees. I passed a dishy. Oh, no, I see you. Here you come. Let's go. Water. What is this? A ocean? Oh, I actually had gotten in my boat that time. Yeah, I feel like Oh, I almost I almost did it. But there I've done it before where um I accidentally like I clicked twice or something and I went from on my horse to in my boat. Yeah. You have to like spam it when you're falling in and get it. Mm-hmm. I can never reach the octopus or the squids to punch them. I punch everything that I can punch in the water. Including kelp and me and my horse. I don't punch kelp. I collect it and release it. Catch and release. Catch and release the kelp. Let me know if you want me to be in front, but you know, you don't have to. If I'm too glitchy. Yeah, what? <laughs> Freaking unloaded a whole thing of kelp <laughs> at me. <laughs> Just dumped my hefty garbage bag of kelp. Freaking butt munch. <laughs> what? Another butt munch. My sister used to call me that when I was a kid. <laughs> my sisters and I said that. Oh, I don't know if we already talked about it. It's a battle. It is a battle. Guy with no beds. So you die, you die, I assume. Yeah, someone... Someone built a planet in their hardcore mode in the end. Mm -hmm. Like, as a challenge. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, like, a round planet. And then someone... Like, they were, like, starting to build, like, their whole solar system or something. And then people were like, this would be, like, a good Sky Wars map. Where you have yeah. to, like, fly between the planets and stuff. Oh, that's cool. <clears throat> I don't really um, play anything extra on Minecraft. I haven't tried any of the servers or anything like that. This is about my extent of Minecraft is doing stuff like this or um, just like a regular survival world. Mm -hmm. I host servers. <laughs> I'm too good for PvP. <laughs> I'm a creative gal. It would be fun to host like a mega server. But that's expensive. Click, click, click. You're my. I found land. Oh my gosh. Are we gonna zip through the little thing or are we gonna try and go to the land? Mm, land. Yay. I would have done it anyway. I checked my things that grind my gears list, but it's all like arts and crafts related. <laughs> So I guess for a while there, I was having some problems with, um, with, like, arts, arts and craft industries. So that's, that's just, if you were curious, there was nothing else interesting on that list. I don't even think I can think of anything arts and crafts related that grinds my gears. 
Freaking fabric stores having only hideous fabrics. I've never once been to a fabric store and been like, oh, I can f easily find good fabric here. No, it's all like Halloween fabric. What the heck is that? I don't need fabric with spider webs on it. And it all feels the same. It's crappy. Be sad. We should come up with a, a list for Megan so that she can just complain on stream the, about everything. <laughs> <laughs> I have problems with things. I like things that I like, and I hate things I don't like. Yeah. Ow! <laughs> Gee! What'd you do? The freaking drown just launched me into a different dimension. <laughs> I felt it in real life. <laughs> My grandchildren felt it. It was like someone punched me in the arm as hard as they could. <laughs> oh. Oh. Sounds like, like fell over in the water. Sounds like when I tossed you a blanket. <laughs> I'm like, oh. And like landed next to you. And then I pass out and die. Hey, we're in hot Cheeto land. Cheeto dust. Woo! Uh, ah, beautiful mountains. There's gold in these parts. There's gold in my farts. No. There, this is the type of biome that has a lot of gold in it. Don't say there's gold in my farts. Not. Okay. <laughs> and your argument is? <laughs> Where'd you go? Coming. No. Oh, we're sleeping? Your horse does see something in the sky that's really important. Oh, now he's... He's like, he, he instantly goes to like... Thinking about his life and staring at the sky. What's my purpose? Yeah, getting all um, self-aware. When was... horses become self-aware in Minecraft, it's dangerous. <laughs> I was going to make a Prince of Egypt joke, but then I realized that you haven't seen that yet. I don't even know what it's about. It's about Moses, you donk. Oh. Yeah, never around. Uh... Don't worry, we'll watch it. You have to put it on the Plex server, though. Okay. Get a 4K HDR uh, Dolby Atmos <laughs> version <laughs> of the Prince of Egypt. That would be pretty good, though. Oh, I was going to break the sand to see if it made the whole... Wait, wait, wait. Come this way. <laughs> um. Anyway, the sand looked like it would all break satisfyingly, but it had a layer of sandstone underneath it. Watch my horse. I'm going grave robbing. Whee! Don't blow up. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I forgot how good my pickaxe was. It's like, dang, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Close up just to spite you. Enchanted apple. Regular apple. I'm gonna have to put some stuff in chest. Diamonds! I don't need spiders. Diamonds. Would you like diamond horse armor? Yes. <laughs> oh, two diamond horse armors. My gosh, I like my purple horse armor, but my horse's health is pretty small. That's okay. We will um you there it's their ceremonial robes. All right. Their ceremonial. Makes both of their eyes pink. Do we need dynamite? Uh we have some, so if you want to grab some, we can put it with that bit. Oh, my back hurts. Why am I sitting like my back health doesn't matter. What? There we go. We're gonna blow everything up because we have dynamite. I just got all googly. Your what? My eyes got all googly. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I'm good. I think I might have to go take go to the bathroom and like rinse my face off. But I'm so boring. Well, I'll I'll um, I will organize my shulker boxes while you go. Could you put three of your shulker boxes down? Unless you don't trust me. Alright, I will be back. Have fun, Josh. My eyes keep watering. All right. 
So, I have a bunch of random garbage in my inventory, and I need to get rid of it. I should probably hold on to some of the apples, so that if my horse gets an owie, I can fix him. Golden apple. Hmm. Oh, we almost have a full stack of gold. Well, are we rich? Rich as fishes? Got some random garbage. Where's my random garbage one? Here it is. Bones. I have some meat. Where's the food one? I think we did an okay job at organizing things. All right. Wrong. 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 What is it? Oh, it's this one. And where will I put obsidian? Here. I have a rabbit's foot. And I know you can use that to make the potion of leaping, but I don't know if you can use it for anything else. I guess we'll see. Get rid of my gunpowder. We have two whole stacks of bamboo, but I don't know if we're ever going to need that. I'll keep my rabbit's foot on me just for luck. And I think I'm done organizing. So now I give Josh horse armor. He didn't catch it. Try that again. Oh no, he got it. He also wasn't watching my horse, so I'm a little bit offended. It's bling time. Woo! And my diamond has- or my horse has diamond armor, and I only have half diamond armor. You talking about onions, Josh? Ah. My face is probably going to be red, but... I threw diamond horse armor at you. Once you put it on, put your current horse armor in the currently open shulker box. Okay. Man, my horse got that bling now. Mm-hmm. I don't know if you need to organize some stuff. Yeah, just really quick. Fine, that's fine. Nah, hey, hey. I found a golden shovel with soap touch. <laughs> That's not helpful, but thank you. Let's see if I can get another rabbit's foot. Nope. They didn't have to make the rabbits make the saddest sound in the world whenever they die. <laughs> Sorry, horse. I whacked my horse, too. I have three, and uh, I have three, um, shulker boxes. Go, oh, me too. Oh, wrong way. <laughs> so I wasn't gonna say anything, but that's actually, that would have been stupid of me. <laughs> because... Meg, if I'm wrong, I need you to tell me. <laughs> but of course I'm never wrong, so... Hey, we're in a normal desert now. Holy honk. Uh, yeah, we found a temple. Is that like the first temple we found? Besides, that is the like, first temple. Except for maybe the very, very beginning, because I know we started in a desert. <clears throat> hmm. We did start in a desert. We're natives of the desert. Those are natives. Okay. There's a well over there. My gosh, what can we use it for? How many resources we could get from that? A few, um... Sandstone blocks. Oh, there's another well! I 
wonder if the person who, like, thought of the idea of having desert wells, like, has their feelings hurt all the time from people making fun of them. Or, like, they had such great plans for them, but, um, Mojang was like, dang, that's such a good idea to have a desert well. Yeah, and it could, like, um, it could have, like, a lever in it, and when you open it up, it could, like, reveal a hidden something underneath. And they're like, oh, well, actually, um, we were just thinking about having it, like, there as, like, a, like a thing. It just shows. It doesn't actually do anything. Like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know, that's cool. Aww. That's cool. Yeah, we, um... <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't like draw this whole thing out and like plan it and all that stuff. He had oh, this beautiful fine. like uh, oasis designed, and like you go up to it and it automatically heals you, and then it's just like, no, now it's just a derpy little square. There's like there's like a tree that has like up to three golden apples hanging off of it. Ooh. The what if Minecraft did make an oasis? So like. A really rare thing that would show up in deserts where it was like water and fruit trees. That'd be kind of cool. And be in the wells, and you like some of them have like a lever in them, and it would like force you to check every single well because <laughs> it'd be hidden behind the well, so you couldn't see it without like going up to it. Well, it's kind of like how um, it's kind of like how what was I even saying? Oh, um, some, some, what are they called, igloos have a secret downstairs and some of them don't. Yeah. There's a hole there, be careful. Where? I you hear that, Mojang? You should hire us because, um, we have really good ideas. I want there to be blue birds. Whee! One of these times we're going to do that and our horse is going to die. <laughs> And will die too. Oh, I have a white horse. Good to know. Maybe that's why it died at pink when I we put the pink Maybe horse armor on it or purple. That is. I want tumbleweeds in Minecraft. Is that a thing that's coming? I feel like I've seen mods with tumbleweeds, but I don't think that they're real. We looked at the sweet baby frogs last time. But just at the beginning. Yeah. Why are you not In our video yet? with no sound. Yeah. Which is too bad because we were like, oh, what are little frogs? Well, that was like the first time I tried the different audio setup too and I couldn't even listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> to see how well it worked. I have a visitor. Hop up. Funky. Wow. I'm, I'm mad at you, but it's. Yeah, I get home from work. And like I come through the door and Megan's like, Josh, um, so uh, uh, Soraka crawled out from underneath the, um, the TV, stand. TV stand and uh, I pulled her bandage off because uh, no, I, I, I had pulled her bandage off earlier that day. I tried to fix it, but she hid under the TV stand. So our cat has a sore on the back of her leg that she chewed off and we've like been keeping a bandage, but the bandage falls off. So we pull it off and then we put another one on, but it requires both of us to do that. And so Megan had pulled it off because it was bleeding, and then she hid under the TV stand, and then she got up and she, she dripped the blood all the way from her TV stand to the it's entryway. So sad. And we had I had to like get get home and like instantly grab her and like pull her into the kitchen so she didn't get more on the carpet. Mm -hmm. And then we wrapped her in a bandage and then we had to clean up all the blood. Yeah. We might have to have a new plan for that. Like obviously we take really good care of careful there's a, a creeper and a husk coming over. Um, we take very good care of her, and, you know, we treat her wounds nicely. But, um, it's just been difficult, because she does not like to be helped. Yeah. She's like, no, it's okay, I'll just, I'll just bleed. Well, that's the thing, <laughs> is, like, we tried, we've, we've tried, like, letting her deal with it, mm -hmm. and she doesn't, she just chews the scab off and lets it bleed everywhere. Yeah. Um, and so we've been keeping it bandaged, which seems to let it... It's it had seemed oh there's a village right here. It has seemed to it it seemed to have let it heal like it's healing, but it, there's still scabs being formed and the scabs still fall off. But like there's still like room for bleeding all over the place. Gotta check this. Check it. Ooh, this one had some good stuff. 
We can make like a bunch of portals now. If we want to. Actually, here, real quick. I'm going to check um, Lost Ark status. You left your horse. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Theater. No. Uh, we can play Lost Ark if we want to, Meg. <laughs> well, how long do you think we'll be? That's fair. We um, could do it on Monday, too, if we felt like it, but it's whatever. I mean, I'll be playing after we're done streaming regardless. <clears throat> okay. But... <laughs> <laughs> He's running away. I'm trying. I had to relaunch Minecraft. Yay! Yay! No, oh, it didn't load with textures. Josh, he's robbing a bank. Oh my, oh my goodness! Gosh. I didn't tell him to do that. Why? Why did you raise him so poorly? He's making bad life choices. Oh Minecraft! He please. just invested in a timeshare. Oh no! He just invested in a timeshare. <laughs> <laughs> Poor stop! You're a menace. <laughs> My dad never gave me a name. Now he's, he's investing in NFTs. Oh no. Oh my gosh, he owns three NFTs. <laughs> Everybody hates him because he's a huge jerk. <laughs> oh my gosh, he's trying he, to sell NFTs in video games. He likes The Office better than Parks and Rec. <laughs> he thinks that Greedo shot <laughs> first. <laughs> Josh, I fell in a hole. Egg. What? You're worse than the horse. What? <laughs> what? What hole did you fall in? This one. Okay, I can't, I can't see your. I can't see your name. Where, where are you at? I'm out now, because it only takes me a second to get out of them. Oh, where'd you go? Go in the hall. I, but you said you're out. I'm out now. Where are you at? I'm at the river. Oh, you're right. You're far ahead. That far. You're so far, Meg. Oh my gosh. Pushing my horse. Get in the boat. Oh, I must have went to a different area of the river. Because uh, I didn't see you after you came out of the hole. I literally am going straight from the village. That's what I did. Well, one of us is lying, and it's not me because I did the thing I said I did. Well, I'm waiting on the other side of the river. Okay. Josh is telling lies again. Are you on the other side of the river? I am. What? What's your X and Z? You have any idea how hard it is to think? Just do the last three of the X. 266, negative 346. Oh my gosh. Negative 346? Yeah. Oh, it's because I got turned around. Josh, you were here yelling at me. <laughs> the nerve. I can spot a lie, especially from you, 100 miles away. And I am 100 miles away from you because you went the wrong way. I was Josh. like positive 300 on the Z. <laughs> How? I it don't. was like one minute. How did you get so far away? I don't know. Now I'm on the wrong side of the reaver. Well, I'm gonna wait here for you. I'm what was your what was your X again? 281 now. Oh no. How did you get? Are you looking at my coordinates? I got turned around because you said you fell in a hole, and then I looked for you in the hole, and you weren't there. And then, um, I got turned around because I went into the hole looking for you. Josh went somewhere weird. Come on, horse. It's that horse. He's a bad influence on you. Yeah, he did try to get me into uh, NFTs. <laughs> Didn't work. Ow! <laughs> he sent me a message that says, Hey, girl, I wanted you to try out this new cream and see if you wanted to sell it to your friends and make money and be a, a girl boss. But you haven't talked to them since high school. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, the horse since high school. <laughs> That's definitely never happened in real life. Um, okay. Negative. Three. Um, my goodness. How did we get so messed up? Uh oh, I 
think I know how. I went I went right instead of left. Well, I guess I'm just gonna grow old here with this cow. Are you still along the river? I'm just standing here. Where oh, are there you? Are. Meg! Where are you? Hi. I'm gonna beat you. You can't catch me. <laughs> I'm gonna break your back. Thanks, so I'm you're gonna break you. my back. Jerk. My back's already broken. <laughs> I could have been to the far lands by now, but you had to go the absolute wrong way. Owie. Don't hit me. Uh, uh. <laughs> no. I, I wanted to see how long I could hold it for, but I decided not to because I didn't want to annoy anybody. Don't worry, Josh. It's too late for that now. <laughs> this was America Hill because there were red flowers, white flowers, and blue flowers. Red, white, and blue. America. Jump into the river! Splash. Horse! My horse is a good influence. Your horse, um... <clears throat> uh, volunteers in his community and only shops at small businesses. My horse donates to, to, to Team C's and doesn't talk about it. My horse donated thirty thousand dollars to Team C's. <laughs> what did your horse do? <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, so um, my, my horse uses his blinkers. At work, uh, Rhea has been putting the National Day on the, on a whiteboard. Oh, nice! And like drawing a picture with it. Love National Days. Well, she showed me the website, and you can submit a National Day. So I submitted a, a National Adam Mueller Day. <laughs> Josh, that's never gonna happen. <laughs> but, okay, to be fair, though, I have been doing that yearly since 2014, and it's not just me now. It started with, like, me, and then it was me and his family, and then at one point, like, his whole college, like, had posted about it. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so there's more than just me that know about it. I'm your wife, Josh. <laughs> yes. And you have never once... Offered to make a day for me. <laughs> That's because I started National Adam Mueller Day before I knew I'm you. Kidding. I'm very happy that you have such a loving relationship with Adam. <laughs> it's like I've never even talked to him. Except for like every once in a while. But when you see him like once every two years, you're like, babe. <laughs> Bro. And then we, we lovingly grasp each other and, and kiss each other on the cheek and then <laughs> hold hands as we skip merrily down the street. You shake each other's hand. Like, um, Colonel Armstrong and, uh, Izumi Curtis's husband from Full Metal Alchemist. Our muscles flex and our mustaches twitch. And there's roses everywhere and a single tear drips down your cheek. That's <laughs> <laughs> what happens. Yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <clears throat> the last time I saw him, we was... Um, we he went was. to a concert in Columbus because he just messaged me and he's like, Hey man, um, you want to go see this this band in in concert? And like, it was a band, um, they're called Yokelore. Mm -hmm. And they're like, just like a very indie, like kind of good feeling sounding band. Um, and I was like, I guess, because the tickets were like 20 bucks. Uh -huh. And it was like three months or like half a year or something. I got stuck, Meg. Um between when he offered to when we actually went so it was like a very small venue like maybe maximum like 200 people mm -hmm. and the tickets were twenty dollars yokelore had thirty thousand monthly listeners on spotify at the time by the time we went they had over two million wow. monthly listeners and the tickets were sold out um, we got there and it was like it was in the in like this basement bar venue of some random place and it was really tiny and it was I mean Adam had fun we got we waited in line to to get in and we had him and I had been like walking around Columbus all day mm -hmm. and uh, he <laughs> we get there and he has like a really nice camera and the, the guard stops and is like, so do you have a press pass? And he's like, what? And he's like, you can't bring in professional camera equipment without a press pass. And he's like, oh, shoot, can I just like take the lens off and put it away? And he's like, no, you can't bring it in at all. Dang. And so, <clears throat> so we were like first in line too to like get good 
standing and everything. We had waited there for like an hour. And so I was like, well, I don't really actually care to see this band. So I'll just walk it back to the car. And the car was like a 30 minute walk away. Um, and so I took his camera and oh, we're sleeping. I didn't even notice it was nighttime. Took his camera, walked it back and I came back and like it was it was about 40 minutes later, roughly, because I, I ended up getting better parking, too. Nice. Um, and came back and I could not get anywhere near where he was. And I was like, that's fine. I'll just uh, I'll just hang out in the back. And um, I didn't feel like standing anymore because we've been walking around. So there was a bar there and I just sat at the bar and I made friends with the bartender and just had a drink. <laughs> 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 but that also worked out because Adam wanted merch. Um, and I noticed that towards the end of the show, a line started forming at the merch table. So I just stood in line. <clears throat> and so not only did he get like <clears throat> really good area in the pit to listen, he also got like third in line for the merch table so he could just get in and get out. Oh, cool. Because <laughs> I, I started waiting in line because I figured he'd want merch. By the way, there was an azalea tree back there, but I didn't know if you felt like exploring a uh, cave or not, or if you want to just keep Nah, we can just keep going. Also, that was not the last time you saw him. It was the last time I saw him. At our wedding. I guess that's fair. I, was, I guess I was thinking the last time it was just like me and him. Oh, I see. But... Yeah, you're right. I didn't consider that. Yeah, Megan and I got married once. One time we got married. Yeah, it happened. Uh, whatever. What do you say we do an hour and a half long stream today? Sure. Where so we can get started on our... Whatever. <laughs> I really want to play. Of course, <laughs> Unless buddy. Unless the queues are really long. <clears throat> um, we're at an hour and seven minutes. Cool. Looks like it might potentially be a big old ocean. Yeah, ma'am. It happens. Oceans appear. Back when, um, Every contemporary Christian church played Oceans on every single <laughs> Sunday morning. That song, like, hit hard. Like, it everybody played that song. <clears throat> every teenage girl sang it at talent shows. It was like, it was a song that was played so much that it kind of just became a meme out of itself. Yeah. <clears throat> Which kind of stinks, but same time, it's like, well brought it upon yourself <laughs> they brought it upon themselves from writing a good song yeah they wrote like the greatest song of that year and um it's their own fault <laughs> <laughs> the oceans must be really big or deep whenever we pass by kelp that's like none of it is near the surface i know this these <laughs> things well i'm sure that the oceans get deeper now Ooh. With the caves and cliffs update. That's scary. One of my most terrifying dreams was drowning. I've never had a dream where I died before, and I'm pretty sure I died, and that's what woke me up. Speaking of dreams, did we have an earthquake last night? I remember you waking me up and being like, it's shaking. Yeah, was the bed shaking for you? A little bit. I was so tired, but I think I did kind of feel so it shaking. I woke up to the bed shaking. And I was like, okay, Meg must be like shaking her leg or something. <laughs> Just like, I have like a top hat and a cane and I'm doing practicing a little dance. Well, it felt like you had your leg hung off the side of the bed, like shaking it back and forth. It was like ah. a constant, like this kind of movement. And mm -hmm. um, I was like, no, Meg's not moving. And I was like, Meg, do you feel that? And you woke up and you're like, what? And I was like, do you feel the bed shake? And you're like, yeah, I do. And I got up out of bed and I like stood up and I still felt it on the floor. And I went to the bathroom and like the water was kind of like moving back and forth in the toilet. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and I peed and then I came <laughs> back and it wasn't shaking anymore. And I was like, did the shake, when did the shaking stop? And you said shortly after you left. And then <laughs> I'm sure it was not that clear. <laughs> that's, that's what you said. And then I, I laid back down and um, you're like, dang, now I'm scared. 
I barely remember any of it. It was weird. It was like a very distinct shaking. And the only reason why I think it was an earthquake was because um, one of the times I had gone to Alaska, uh, I was laying in bed and I felt like that same motion of just like kind of a back and forth shaking. It felt like someone was just kind of like moving around. And uh -huh. um, I was in a bunk bed, so I figured it was the kid above me moving. Um, and then I woke up the next morning and someone was like, did you feel that earthquake last night? <laughs> so mm. I think we had an earthquake last night and it was a very small one, but that was exciting. I got to experience it, not remember it. Yeah. The only time I've ever like actually barely remember an earthquake was in um, Portland. Uh, we were staying at our grandparents' house, and there was a, um, a, just a tiny one. But still, I was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, we don't really get earthquakes here. They're very rare, and if they do happen, they're very, very small. Yeah. It's more of like a western thing. Gosh, we need bowls. For the home or for Minecraft? No, for the home. That's just a thought that popped into my brain. Weren't we gonna get rice bowls? We need rice bowls, and I need like at least one or two like decent serving <laughs> bowls. Yeah. That aren't like mixing bowls. There's a difference. Well, time to go back to Home Goods. Home Goods. That's my favorite place. Except for IKEA. Oh, IKEA is better, but but with for small things like unique small items, then going to like TJ Maxx and Home Goods is fun. Yeah, like, Ikea is really good for, like, I want a white serving bowl. Yeah. And you'll find it there. Or, like, a very, like, or basic like a wooden thing. Serving bowl. A very basic thing. But, like, if you want, like, a one-of-a-kind item that's still affordable, then Home Goods is actually really good. I remember the first time you talked me into going to Home Goods. Uh -huh. And I was like, yeah, I guess we can go. And then, like, I had more fun there than you did. I know. I was like, all right, Josh, you're going to like, what? <laughs> looking at all like the teapots and stuff. I was like, but, but, but we gotta get Soraka a, a, another food bowl. We keep looking at food bowls while we're there. Yeah, but... hers is really sad. Yeah. Um, but the problem is, is that all of the ones there are very large. She does not need a very big food bowl. Like it... her scoop of food is not large. She needs more calories, Josh. Look, it's uh, pretty stuff. But like we've gotten her to a point where like she's not getting any fatter and she's not getting any smaller. Like I feel like that's a good place for her. Good job, Sonk. I wish I could find that place. Like, well, she was a really tiny cat for a long time because I was like, I only feed her once a day, I feed her in the morning and I make sure she has clean water. And um, that was it. And then if uh, when she went to my parents house and I, we lived there, um, my mom was mostly feeding her because I was working. I was waking up super early and coming back late. Mm -hmm. And she's like, yeah, I've been feeding her in the morning. And my dad's like, oh, <laughs> I've been feeding her at night. <laughs> and so she had been getting double scoops of food. And being a cat, she's going to eat all of the food in her bowl. Yeah. Um, it, it, she eats all of the food in her bowl except for like a layer of it. Yeah. So, and she's like, ew, it nasty. Yeah. Um, or like she saves it as like rations in case we forget to feed her, uh, which weird. doesn't happen. I know. And um, Unless she's home alone with me. Sometimes that happens. But there's never really a time when she doesn't have food in her bowl. But anyways, so she got kind of chonky. Um, <laughs> and then after that, I started like feeding her just like one like level scoop of food. Um, Per day and she started losing weight which was good and I started feeding her like a better food too yeah. uh, with like no grains or anything like that that actually helped her skin too um, and her fur but uh, she's you know she got to the point where like she lost weight and now she's not losing any more weight and she's not gaining any more weight she's kind of like staying where she is and I think she's at the size she's supposed to be so speaking of cats my parents have a cat named Tommy and I'd like to talk about Tommy for a sec. <laughs> he's disgusting. He's a piece of garbage, but he's also like, he's like very sweet and nervous all the time. I got stuck. Hold on. He's got eyebrows that make him look really nervous. Like, oh, and he is large. Like he's a. And he's in charge. Probably. A, on, honestly, I think if they weighed him, he's probably close to 20 pounds right now. He's a big boy and he is just like, I'm going to poop where I want. And so. <laughs> In the playroom 
where like my niece goes upstairs and plays he has decided that that is his litter box and the door is broken on that room which is good you know for a playroom you can the kid can't shut themselves in there but that means he can get in there anytime he wants and just poop on the floor it's like there's litter boxes who told you you could do this must anyway. be a guy cat thing because we had a cat that did stuff like that too um well uh I had a thing to say about that and I forgot. Hmm. Soraka poops on the floor too, but she poops right in front of her litter box. And I don't understand why. But I've tried everything to get her to stop. <laughs> and like changing, I got her a new litter box. Um, I changed where the litter box was at. I removed the lid off the litter box. Um, I like, I did, I like put light everywhere, like where it was at. I put no light where it's at. And no matter what, she just poops right in front of the litter box, like right in front of it. She pees in the litter box like she understands the concept. I don't I don't have a bed. Mm. I might just have to use yours and travel through the night. Okay. Sorry. Remember when I said that I didn't need one? And you clearly stated that you had four and I clearly stated that I had three and I was like, yeah, I'm not going to get one. Look who's laughing now. Um, I had something to say about Tommy, but I can't remember. Meg, you're way ahead of me. Yeah, stop. Tommy's thick, he's nervous, and he poops everywhere. Oh, so you said Tommy weighs about 20 pounds. Probably. For comparison, uh, Soraka weighs 8 to 9 pounds. Which is a healthy weight for a cat. Yeah, like baby size. Newborn baby size cat. <clears throat> Tommy's a big tabby cat. He's orange, his, his underside is white, and he's got, you know, like pretty yellow eyes. And he's got a eyebrows. pretty cat. Ouch, someone hit me. But he is just so bad at living. <laughs> like, at least Soraka tries. <laughs> right, Sanki? Then there's Jerry the cat. Jerry the cat, you know, he's had his years. He is uh, nearly 18, if not already 18. And just, you know, elderly cat. You can feel his hip bones. He's got bumps on his back, which I assume. He's older than your sister, your younger sister. Yeah. The middle child of our family. He's older than her. So yeah, probably almost 18 now. And he's just old. He, he I got stuck. forgot how to purr. So he kind of just like starts shuddering and my mom has to stop petting. <laughs> That's another thing. Sanki hasn't purred for a long time. She makes like little snort noises and like snores and stuff. And she's obviously very content and like cozy and stuff. Um, she doesn't purr and I looked it up and apparently just some cats don't purr like they purr as kittens And then once they mature, they just don't purr anymore Interesting Well, Jerry purred all his life, but now it just like messes up. It messes him up to do it Yeah, I don't know. Um, oh, there's a creep creeper Creepers. Oh, there's a weird glare on my computer from something No purple light no. Might also, hopefully it's not me having a silent migraine. Meg just passes out. <clears throat> Never passed out from a silent- I do sometimes get sleepy just because I'm like, I can't even handle opening my eyes right now. And so I close my eyes and get sleepy. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Taraka is a very weird cat. She's like the most cuddly loving cat and like- Sometimes she'll be like overbearingly loving. Oh no, my horse got in the water. Oh no! Ah! I killed one skelly. Is there one after you still? Yeah. Where I is pulled he? my horse away from it. Oh! Uh, Watch out! In the water! I killed another skelly. In the water. Oh my gosh! Oh. So sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, are you good? I yeah. just watched that happen. <laughs> Get out! Oh my gosh. We're stuck. It's just Sorry, like watched an explosion happen and I got surprised and scared. I was like, what? I heard the tss and then I looked behind me and he exploded. I hope my horse is doing okay. I have a golden apple. Here, wait. I have an idea. I'm not on him. I was like, he has no hearts. There, I, but I, I then gave, I realized I was in my boat, not on him. I gave him my golden apple. Aw, Josh, thank you. I have a stack of regular apples. 
You can't feed those horses, can you? You can. Oh. When they're injured, you can. Uh, well, you, you got a golden one. <laughs> you just can't breed the horses. Um, <clears throat> I also had a stack of regular apples, too. I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought they only took golden apples for some reason. They'll eat hay, too. Um, whatever the case was, he, the creeper, like, hit him a lot mm -hmm. from what I saw, so. Well, now he is at full health. See, this is why I like villages. Yeah, once we get to the next village, that'll be our uh, quitting time. Yeah, man. <clears throat> We're almost at 200,000. 200,000. There's a village. I got hit by a zombie. A what? Zombie. They said Gandhi. I got hit by Gandhi. Like, but he's the peace guy. He's the guy who does the nice things. He only do nice. I think our horses can get out of here. Fine for now, there's monsters nearby. Oh my gosh, where are the monsters? Ah! Oh, I have to kick a baby villager out of his bed. Okay, let's okay, make sure our horses are safe, and then... Oh, there is uh, an Enderman bothering Is he mad? Stupid horse. Is he mad at you or me? What? Where is he? I hear an Enderman. <laughs> eh? Oh okay, my gosh, mad. I lit my horse on fire! Put him out! <laughs> Careful, there's also an Enderman after you. Oh, my horse is almost dead. Okay, um, I can help. Wait, I have hay. I helped. Thank you, he's full Thank Because you helped my horse. Why? Where is my horse going? He got out. I was trying to clear these and I hit my horse with a flame sword. <laughs> Both of our horses were like, bye. Thanks for freeing us. We're gone. Get out of here. I'll get your horse in since I'm close. Uh, oh, there we go. Why are all the cats going inside the gate? Why is this place so chaotic? Why does that villager have sideburns? Find oh, out no, next week. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when we stream, uh, continue. Uh, one of these weekends, we're going to do a really long stream on Saturday, but this weekend is not that weekend. Nor next weekend, because I think yeah. we have plans. But thank you for watching, everybody that did. Um... It looks like that this did fine with recording and streaming, so the recording on YouTube will probably be higher quality than it normally is. That's cool. I'll keep doing that. Uh, yeah. Have a good night. Good night. Bye.